Jim. So it's true. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> so if the principal can't do anything, who can? It's just gonna have to run its course. Walt, we're talking about Tracy Flick here. She doesn't want reality interfering with her GPA. Look, I know that you didn't change those test scores. Everybody knows it. It doesn't matter. Her mother's on the school board, Trump. You're just gonna have to go through the process. There's nothing I can do. I'm not giving in on this. Good morning, Mr. McAllister. Not wasting any time, are you, Tracy? You know what they say about the early bird? Yes, I do. Vote for Tracy. Well, good luck, Tracy. Thanks. You too, Mr. M. No matter what he says, Mr. McAllister had it out for me from the start. He was just as unfair and petty as anybody else. It's hard to remember how the whole thing started. The whole election mess. What I do remember is that I loved my job. I was a teacher, an educator, and I couldn't imagine doing anything else. So, would this be an ethical situation or a moral situation? What's the difference between ethics and morals? Anybody? Derek? Morals are like when you're told to do what's right by society, and... You're on the right track. Ethics are like when... Who can help them out? <laughs> <laughs> Michelle? Morals are like lessons, you know? Like... The moral of a story? It's what you learn from a story or a fable or something. Or life experience. Good. And ethics? That's like... Ethics is how you use those morals. Um, that you learn from a story. Okay. But we're still missing something key here. I know. What are we missing? I know. Tracy? Ethics are a society's way. Tracy Flick. Tracy Flick. I've never met anyone quite as ruthless as Tracy Flick. Mr. McAllister? Mr. McAllister, wait up. Yes, Tracy. I got all my signatures. 158. Way more than I needed. Hey, that's super. Here they are. Oh, you can put those in my box at the office. Uh, I'll look at them tomorrow. Uh, well, I was wondering if you could approve them now so I can start campaigning. You know, in the morning. Right. Looks good to me. Aren't you supposed to keep them? No, that's fine. Well, I thought you were supposed to keep them. Okay, fine, sure. I can't wait to start campaigning. It should be easy, so far. No competition. Well, you know, Coca-Cola is the world's number one soft drink, and they spend more than anybody else in advertising. Guess that's how they stay number one. Okay. Well, good luck, Tracy. You might think it upset me that Paul Metzier had decided to run against me, but nothing could be further from the truth. He was no competition for me. It was like apples and oranges. It just meant I had to work a little harder. That's all. Hello students, I'm Clark Naylor, your current student council president. Today is our annual election day, and how you cast your vote will have a huge effect on policies and activities at your school. Over the past couple of weeks, you've heard from many different candidates who are striving for different offices. They have now prepared speeches to convince you to vote for them. You've probably seen them, their posters, and maybe even had a chance to talk to them personally. Today marks the final day of campaigning, and the spotlight now turns to you. 
As a student at this school, you have not only the privilege, but the responsibility to vote. Remember, your vote is completely confidential. You're the only person who needs to know who you voted for. Now, I'd like to introduce you, Tony. Tony's going to show you how to cast your vote properly. Are you ready, Tony? I think so. Let's get started. When the time came to cast our votes, I stood in line just like everybody else. Tracy? Tracy Enid Flick? Yeah, I know. Phil, you ready? Wait, I flash. I need your now. Just a second. Thanks, Phil. Way to go, Tracy. Is this exciting? Yeah. Well, good luck. Good luck to you too, Paul. Thanks. Hi, I'm Paul Metzger. Thanks. Do people always just vote for themselves? Because looking at my own name on the ballot, I just felt like it's not right to vote for yourself. Here you go, Mr. M. What? Right. Uh, so let's start counting. Well, you know, the way it's always done is the SGA president does a count, and then the SGA advisor does a count. You know, for the two independent counts. Fine. So, uh, you do your count. I just want to get this over with so we can have the assembly and go home. Okay, yeah, we know. All right. I'll be back. Hey, Mr. M. What did you get? I can't tell you until you count two for the two independent votes. You're kidding, right? Those are the rules, Mr. McAllister, if they change in any way. Larry, we're not electing the Pope here. Just tell me who won. It's a squeaker. Tracy won by just one vote. Mr. M? <sighs> okay, well, I guess I better do my counts. You know that moment when they announced the winner of a beauty pageant? When Miss Texas or whoever suddenly realizes that she's Miss America and all she can do is scream and weep and hug the losers? I had my moment in the hallway that Tuesday afternoon with no one to hug but myself. I was at the end of my count when it happened. I'd come up with exactly the same numbers as Larry. Tracy had won the election by a single vote. 256 to 257. I was about to announce my tally when... The sight of Tracy at that moment affected me in a way I can't fully explain. I had to stop her, and I had to stop her now. Tracy, I'm just glad it's over. Yeah. You know, I don't understand why everybody badmouths Tracy all the time. She's always super nice to me. If we could get started, people. Once the winners are announced, we can all go home, okay? That said, the whole point of an election is to choose winners, and that you have done. Act surprised. Walk slowly to the podium, be modest, thank them for this incredible honor. 
Let me add that this was an extraordinarily close race. It's my pleasure to announce the next president of Plainview High School, Paul Metzier. <laughs> The next day held a promise of a new beginning. After all, what harm had really been done? No one was dead. Hey, Jim. Yes? Walt needs to see you. Oh, okay. Thanks. It's going to be awesome. You rang? I'm Mr. McAllister. We were hoping you could help us clean up a little problem. Look at his face. He knows he's been caught. It's all right. Look Settle down. Face. It's going to be all right. Please, take a seat. we got a problem we got to work on. Street suit? Yes, but this is about the election. After Paul got the bad news, Walt asked for a few minutes alone with me. It was very simple, really. I offered my resignation, and he accepted. It was all over for me at Plainview. Twelve years of hard work down the drain. Perhaps I'll go back teaching someday, but for now, I'll have to write a new chapter. Morals are like lessons, you know, like the moral of a story. It's what you learn from a story or a fable, or something.